So my name's Annie Robinson and we're here at Aberdeen University in the Botanic Gardens and we're looking at uh, for the New Zealand flatworm today. Now this is a non-native species that came across from New Zealand and it eats our native earthworms. Came to this country in the 1960s and we're wanting to find out where exactly it's occurring in the UK. And we're wanting to find out where it is and what impact it's having on our earthworms, which are really important, the earthworms, for soil quality and soil structure and drainage. So we're going to go for a hunt now in these gardens here and see if we can find any of the New Zealand flatworms in the garden. <laughs> Survey. It's only 10 minutes searching your garden and you look in your garden underneath things. So underneath stones, wood, carpet, plastic, we control fabric. They like it where it's cool and damp. So I'm just going to turn over a couple of logs here and have a look and see if we can find it. So let's have a look. Oh, there's one already. So this is a New Zealand flatworm here. It is brown, can sometimes be purpley in coloration and it has pale edges around its margin and a pale underside and there's little speckles along the side. Now, they can be anywhere between 5 centimetres and 15 centimetres long. This one's actually outstretched. You'll often find it curled up like a Swiss roll, basically, because they, they do dry out, so they often curl themselves up. They're covered in sticky mucus, and you'll often see the slime trails where they've been, like shiny slime trails. And in fact, here, we've got an egg capsule, and they really resemble shiny black currants. And in each of those egg capsules, you could have 7 to 14 baby New Zealand flatworms. So you may bring that in um, to your garden, maybe with plant material that you've bought, and before you know it, you have New Zealand flatworm established in your garden. So once you've been out in your garden, done your 10 minute search, if you find a flatworm, do please take a photo of it and we'll identify it for you. And there's a few simple details to add, like it's your location, whether you found any earthworms in your search, and other animals that you might be finding in your garden that might consume the earthworms um, that are so important to the garden. So, Enter the details online, it's very, very simple, it'll only take a few minutes and it will help increase our knowledge of where the New Zealand flatworm is occurring and also where it isn't and help us establish what kind of impact the New Zealand flatworm is having on earthworms in this country.